what I have here is a project uh, with data collected from multiple, from three different countries. Uh, if I go to the option data, view, and view, save, unstandardized pre-process indicator data. I see here that this particular column here, which is used as an indicator in my, uh, well, it's, it's actually not included in the model, but this particular column from my unstandardized data set stores numbers that identify each country. So it's one for New Zealand, two starting here for the United States, and three, and three for Spain. Okay, let me close out of here. Now here I have a model, and this model relates two predictor latent variables with one criterion latent variable. And the values here, the path coefficients and p-values, were calculated based on one country only. How do I know that? Because when I close out of here, go to settings, I see that I used uh, range restriction variable that is unstandardized and that is that ref that is that particular column that refers to countries and I set the range to be restricted for an analysis on the range going from 2 to 2 which refers to the United States. Now if I wanted to compare results for different countries. What I can do is, I have here for the United States, I have the results. In fact, I have the full set of results here, even indirect and total effects uh, up here. Now, if I want the results for New Zealand and Spain, all I can do is to restrict the range for uh, those countries only. So, I can close out of here go to view save option options, use the same range restriction variable, but this time restrict it to one to one, to the range going from one to one. Those are the values that refer only to New Zealand. So if I do that, let me just make sure that I saved, no I did not save the results. Let me choose that range again for New Zealand save, save settings, so now they are saved, close out of here, and I'll do the analysis again. Now you can, s as you can see, the p-values and the, the beta coefficients and the p-values changed. Uh, and in this particular case, previously, uh, that was in part to the small data uh, sample, the, the small sample used for the data analysis. The path coefficients, neither of the two path coefficients previously was significant for data only with the United States. Now with data from, from uh, only New Zealand, one of the path coefficients is uh, statistically significant. When you do analysis like this, restricting data, you end up with sample sizes that are, that can, that are certainly smaller than your main uh, original sample size that includes all of the variables. So if you check here the size of this sample, it's only 49. The reason is that if you go back to the data, the unstandardized data, uh, as you can see, you have only 49. So you have only 49 values, as you can see here, only 49 values that refer to New Zealand. Whereas if you include the entire sample for the three countries, you have 184 values. So what tends to happen is that uh, the path coefficients have to be uh, larger to lead to statistically significant results since the sample size is smaller. So you can do this uh, for each country and then compare the results and this is one way in which you can do a multi-group analysis. This concludes this demo on uh, conducting a multi-group analysis by using range restriction.